So you finally got the M1 Mac Mini in your hands and now you're looking for some of them dope apps to be able to use that's going to enhance your user experience. So your boy CK got you covered. So I'm going to be showing you guys some of the top productivity apps that you guys can download right now from the App Store that are 100% free so let's go ahead and talk about it what up y'all it's your boy c kid here and before we actually get into some of these apps i want you guys right now go ahead down in the comment section below let me know how many likes are on this video at the time of you guys watching and uh stick around because i got something for you guys towards the end of this video all right so starting with number five that is an app called countdown timer plus now this is going to be an app that's going to be for those people out there who if you're a person that's like me and you like to set tasks to complete throughout the day or a week and you just need something that's going to help keep you guys on track but more in like like a short-term fashion if that makes sense so what this app does guys is allows you guys to go ahead and set a timer on your desktop for whatever you want to set it for so for example i like to personally set mine for when i'm working on a video or if i just want to feel like taking a break so how it actually works is you guys launch the application on your computer and you click the little plus icon in the top right corner and then a window is going to pop up on your desktop for you guys to be able to move it around then if you guys go ahead and click on that window you're gonna see more options to go ahead and do things like add the name of the task you can also change the sound for when the timer ends it's gonna alert you guys uh, you can also set the notification that's gonna pop up all of these different things inside of this menu all right so let's go ahead and name this one uh, internet browsing break because I like to personally take some internet browsing breaks every now and then but I don't want it to go for too long so let's go ahead and set this timer to 10 minutes for today and just like that it's gonna keep this up on your screen while you guys are doing whatever task that you guys have set now you guys can go ahead and close this pop-up window and in your menu bar up top you will see a status of your timer as well from a quick glance which is actually really dope so I recommend this app for you guys to check out uh, and set some timers for yourself so you guys can keep your day planned out perfectly all right so app number four that you guys to check out is an app called floating now this is one of my favorite apps that I use for when I want to watch videos on YouTube or whatever but I still want the free them to be able to browse to other pages without necessarily having to keep YouTube open in order to do so if that makes sense essentially this app is gonna allow you guys to have a floating screen of whatever video or even a web page source that you guys want as a floating screen so all you guys got to do is launch the app then go ahead and copy the link to the video or the web page source and copy it into where it says manual copy or you can even launch the floating screen from your clipboard which is actually easy if you do it that way and just like that you guys can watch your favorite creator Creators while still browsing the web or doing something else and you don't have to just listen to whatever that person is saying you can actually watch it at the same time too now I personally use this when I'm watching like one of my favorite podcasts on YouTube which is called I am athlete and uh, yeah it's just absolute fire now this is just the free version and they do have a paid version that you guys can get which is gonna allow you guys to have more than one floating screen at a time definitely make sure you guys check that app out it is called floating and uh, I'll have a link for it down in the description section below all right so coming into app number three and that is awesome habits now this is gonna be an app that's gonna help you guys out there with building good habits or even breaking some of those bad habits that you know you need to break so I tend to have a habit of eating a lot of sweets so I can go into this app and add the habit for eating fewer sweets if I want to. All right, so let me show you guys how habits work. You can basically go in here and you can set habits that you guys wanna break or you can set habits that you guys wanna build upon. So for example, let's say I got a habit that I wanna break, which is one that I'm working on right now, which is eating fewer sweets. So I can basically set this one here as uh, whatever. So I can say, see kid uh, eating fewer sweets right so now that i have that i can change the icon now if you have the paid version of this then you guys are going to have a little more access to those icons or whatever but i can also change the color let's go ahead and change it to an orange or whatever that i want to do so now i can also have this set to build upon a habit or i can actually break this habit obviously we don't want to eat too many sweets so we want to go ahead and break this habit now i can also set this as a a weekly goal or a monthly goal so for this instance I want to go ahead and set this as a monthly goal so my monthly goal that I want to set right now is uh, let's say four sweets a month right I can only do four sweets in a single month no matter what it is if it's one piece of candy whatever that's my one sweet 
for that week or whatever. So I can set this as a count unit. So now I got four times that I can actually do this and then I can also set it to actually remind me. Then for here, I can go ahead and add the habit and it's now gonna show up here on my monthly goals. And then I have my weekly goals and then I have my daily goals right here at the top. But then once you guys have your goals and let's say you have your one, you can just go ahead and click this and it's gonna increase it by one, letting you guys see your entire goals or whatever. And then it's gonna overall increase increase your total up here and letting you guys kind of see where you guys are for your goals, your entire month, your day or whatever that you guys have set. And I think it's a pretty cool app that's gonna keep you guys on track for whatever you guys need to keep on track for. All right, so coming in at number two, and that is an app that I'm actually using to record my screen doing this video, and that is an app called Recorded. Now, this is an app that is really good, man, and it's way, and I mean way better than the native QuickTime app for recording your system audio along with your microphone. So if you guys just wanna record the system audio by itself, you can do that. Or if you just wanna record yourself talking through a microphone, you can do that. Or if you wanna just record the system audio plus the microphone, you can do that as well with this app called recording. All right, so the number one app that I personally like to use, and it probably gonna come up as a shocker because it's not the most like interesting app, but it's actually the notes app, man. I use this app every freaking day. Every single one of the raps you guys have heard in this video or on my channel or whatever, that's all been written inside of the notes app. And I think the notes app is one of those apps that doesn't really get a lot of, doesn't really get a lot of credit on how good it really is because of, you know, you can do things like, you can have your links in there or you can post video files in there. You can do a whole lot of stuff in there as well as sharing with the team or whatever you guys have. And I think one of the biggest things that makes the notes app really powerful is the fact that it works so well within the Apple ecosystem. So for example, what I like to do is I'll start like saying I'm typing out video ideas on my iPhone or whatever. I can have my video ideas start from my iPhone or even on my iPad that I have, ugh, let me grab it, on my iPad that I have right here. And a lot of times I'll start them on there and then from there I can transfer it to my Mac mini just by using AirDrop or just using iCloud is gonna automatically just sync to my machine. And it just makes it a whole lot easier across the board to be able to access anything from anytime, anywhere on any one of my devices. And it's that ecosystem man that just makes it a huge winner because like I said, I can start that thought process on my iPhone, on my iPad, and easily just transfer it over to my M1 Mac Mini to complete my ideas on there. And it's so freaking fast on how it syncs up. It's scary, but it's also good. But anyways, guys, that's my spill on the best M1 Mac Mini productivity apps that you guys can download for free in 2021. If you guys enjoyed this content and you found it helpful, then go ahead and make sure, comment down below how many likes are on this video at the time of you guys watching it. Hit that subscribe button while you guys are at it. And uh, because we hitting that 100K by the end of this year, man, because I believe it, so it's gonna happen. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, man. I'll see y'all in the next one. Squad. <laughs> So it's been about two months now since I caught the M1 Mac Mini Wow. Low pro fresh in the aisles. 16 to 8 gigabytes. Tell me what's your style. I'm here to tell you if it's good. If it's not, then it's not worthwhile. Let's see. Hold up. Performance is great. Apple chips stand up right now. Let's go. Let's go. No overheating. Got grace the jigs up. Best desktop. I own the glow up. Let's get into this video and complete our two month doc order routine checkup. <laughs> I'm back with these bars, shining through the shadows. Hit that like button and subscribe right now while I spit bar mouth through stereo. Swap! <laughs> All right, so first thing before we get into all the nitty gritty, I want you guys right now, comment down below how many likes are on this video at the time that you guys are watching it right now. And I have a surprise for you guys at the end of this video for doing so. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about this rumored M2 Mac mini that is looking to possibly be announced later this year being announced alongside the iPhone 13. This M2 chip is said to already have gone into production, guys, and will be first given to us on a 16-inch MacBook Pro. But let me tell you guys why this is a good thing and why I see this as a way for performing needing users like myself getting the power without spending that bag bag. So this M2 chip is rumored to have 12 CPU cores and 16, 16 GPU cores, whereas the current M1 gives us only 8 CPU and 8 GPU cores. So as you guys can see, getting a huge jump in CPU and especially that GPU bump. So why is this a big deal? Because now we can expect on the M2 Mac Mini 4 to perform like an absolute beast. Being able to output more displays because of that increase on the GPU side of things, 
which I'm all here for. So we're basically getting a MacBook Pro in a compact Mac mini body. Now, I also would expect for us to no longer see an eight gigabyte RAM option this time around. I believe that Apple will understand that 16 gigabyte RAM option will be the new baseline going forward. As for my testing and current usage on the eight gigabyte Mac mini that I have right here, it's just not worth it for anybody to go out there and buy because it's honestly just not enough RAM to fully see the benefit and power on an M2 chip. It's like buying a Lamborghini, right, for high performance, and then you got this high performance engine in it, right? But you're riding around with donuts as your tires. Yeah, your car can actually go fast. It can go fast and it's powerful, but you can't even push it past 50 miles an hour before them tires give out. <laughs> you get where I'm going.